Hello everyone and welcome back to Family Gamer TV. I'm Adam and this time we are going to be taking a look at World of Tanks Blitz. This is the World of Tanks game, the very popular tank simulator MMO for the PC. Uh, it has now been, not not ported, this is a completely new version specifically for iOS devices and uh, we're going to take a look at it now. I've just started into the game. You can link it up with your wargaming.net account if you want to, or just make a new one. Uh, I don't think there's a huge amount that carries over between the two games, but we'll find out together. Okay, so let's get into it. Use the right side of the screen. Okay. Point the truck. Point the camera at the truck. Okay, so you can see them. I'm just aiming this. Point the camera. Oh, sorry, I'm not paying attention to the, to it. Uh, point the camera at the bunker on the left. Okay. Use the joystick. All right. So we've got pretty much virtual controls, which usually I have to say I don't like, but it just depends how well implemented they are. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty stunning right now. Whoops. Nearly. You know, nearly. Start with the left turn. Oh, I see. So if you move it round to the left, it'll uh, it'll turn your tank around. There we go. Yeah, this should offer seven versus seven battles. Okay. All right. Let me fire. Like we got him. Yeah, I was gonna say the the visuals look really good. Uh, it's been out a while on PC, and uh, it still looks really good there. But uh, this version looks pretty good. Okay, we've got to heal our crew and repair our damaged modules. Okay, it'll be interesting to see sort of what kind of customization options we can get later on, because that's one of the features of World of Tanks on PC is how customizable your tanks are. Sniper mode. Okay. I appear to be hugging the wall a bit. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. Sniper mode. Okay. Let's see if we can target that. Okay, let's try and get this guy by moving around somewhere else. Reticle at the enemy tank and lift your finger. Oh! Alright, it's automatically tracking it. Oh, we missed. Oh! Okay, come on, he's, uh, he's turned around, quickly! There we go, got one. That one did 
won't go through. Okay, now he's turned around. Let's get back. Hey, <laughs> you got him. Yeah, so the full game offers a lot of German, Russian, and British tank. But disconnected from the server. Okay, let's try again. Oh, fantastic, we have our little garage here. Alright, so we've got USA, USSR, or Germany. Wow, these are tiny tanks. What should we go for? I should go for the Russians, I think. Okay, this has just been released, so don't know how many players are going to be out there. Looks like there's plenty to plenty to play. Capture the base or destroy all enemy vehicles. Now the key to this is probably working as a team, which is going to be very difficult because there are no... Looks like there is a chat window, but uh, I'm just going to do it by eye. Because as there's so few of us, we have to be very careful we don't uh, get destroyed. Go on the ridge. I'm going to follow this guy. Oh no. Looks like we're just camping out here by the look of it. Okay, there's a guy over there. See if we can get him. Ah, oh, stuck. Where is he? Getting used to these virtual controls is a bit difficult as well. It's not quite as intuitive as just using a controller or keyboard or mouse. It's just a bit more... Oh, I've been hit. Oh. Didn't go well. soon we respawn. Oh, he's a goner. He's in the water. Well, it, despite me being so bad at this, it's really cool that you can just sort of skip through and watch your other teammates because I mean that's what you do on a PC multiplayer shooter and it's just I mean this is, this is a really sort of high production value version of World of Tanks for iPad um, it's really good yeah I'm gonna exit the battle and uh, see if we can do any modifications to our tank see what options are available oh I'm still in battle Okay, so what uh, what news have we got? All right, so it offers like a load of news on stuff. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's nice. And you connect it up to Facebook by the look of it. Uh, before rejoin, that's cool that you can exit the battle, come back to the garage and do stuff, and then you've got to resupply your uh, ammunition. Okay. Demo shows hits points that the enemy tank loses if penetrated by the shell. Okay. Purchase as many shells as possible. Okay. That's our credits up there that that's using up. Okay, let's resupply automatically. Um, we can purchase slots. Okay, so that equates to the gold, so we can get more tanks in our garage. Aha, uh -huh. okay, these are the in-app purchases. I was curious about what they, what they have. Okay, give premium account time, premium tanks, and additional slots in garage. Or to convert experience earned on elite tanks to free experience. I'm not sure what the difference is between free experience and experience, but I'll um, find out. And exchange gold for credits. Okay, so that's it. Uh, to get a premium account... Alright, oh, so we increase our XP and credits in each battle if we go premium, which costs gold. We can exchange gold, so it's one gold for 400 credits, okay, and we can also convert experience. Let's have a look at the bundles. Okay, so these range in prices from reasonable to uh, not so reasonable, depending on how obsessed you want to get about it. Okay, so that's interesting to know. Um, not sure what the free experience means, okay. Oh, it may just be just an experience meter. Okay, so let's if we can rejoin our battle. Okay. Alright, new map. So this is the type of game that it's going to require. Oh, there they go. It's going to require a bit, sort of. Uh... Dear me, talking and driving a tank at the same time is not in my skill set. It looks like it's going to take you just like it does in the PC version a little while to get upgraded, get experience points and get yourself a decent tank because these early ones look to be very very squishy which is fine because that's what they do ok so we've got a T1 spotted ok turn around turn around turn around don't, don't do that Him. Ah, we got one. We got. We actually did it. Awesome. Okay, there seems to be a guy over there who's capturing our flag. So let's sort that out. He's capturing the base. God, it's slow as well. This tank. Yeah, kind of need to sort that out, guys, because. Oh no, there's a tank there. It's like someone just bum rushed it right to the objective and is taking it while everyone else just screws around. Alright, now that we're pointing the right way... Gotta say, this 
map is very slow. Come on! So we're sorting it out. I don't want to be in this. Uh, getting used to these controls is going to be quite difficult. I, I need to be careful I don't expose my flank too much on these guys. Oh, he's firing at me from all the way over there. Oh, just missed. Oh! Our track has been hit. I don't even know if we can repair it. Oh! We've been immobilized. There's one behind us. Damn it. Oh, wait, we fixed it. Okay. Well, oh. no. I'm struggling with the controls a lot. But it's very difficult to sort of turn the right way with a virtual D pad. Well, with a virtual analog stick compared to just doing it naturally. Oh, come on, get him. Well done. Well, at least I got one. Okay, how's our other guy doing? Oh, he's... where is he? He's just hanging out far from the battle. Oh look, there's only one of those guys left. Looking to see if the chat window was actually in use, but it's not. Okay. Let's have a look at the settings menu. Okay. Joystick is fixed on the screen in the position. Okay. adjust the controls as well which is quite good although it doesn't actually won't change the uh, how natural or unnatural they feel I think it's a question of experience in in playing this quite a lot okay so we finished our battle there we go and you see it's graded us on how well we did so I wasn't last which is good <laughs> okay so let's go back to the garage all right so we've got equipment slots here so we have a toolbox to increase our repair speed some armor protection binocular telescope and coated optics okay And we have, looks like we have three slots that we can use and uh, we've all got ammunition those are consumables so these are one sort of one use items here okay so let's get one of those and we'll get a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit This is our equipment. 
Oh wow, uh, those credits didn't last long. Okay, that's gone. That's just gone. Okay, so I can't afford any of this. Okay. So that's how we. That's how you do it, really. You sort of go through the battles, do as many as possible, gain experience. It means you can upgrade them, and also I think it enables you to obtain higher tier tanks as well. So that would be good to find if we can. Okay, let's just purchase an extra slot. I'm not sure if there's a there's a shop for tanks right now. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we have a tech tree though. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So that's the tech tree for the states, this is for the USSR, so let's have a look at that as we've been playing that side. We have a tank. The 81. Okay, so this is how you unlock the tanks, is by using your experience. And there are different types of tank. And also have little upgrades as well for each one. You can upgrade the turret, the guns, the engines and suspension which is all pretty much identical to the stuff that you can do in the PC game so they have gone for replicating that for the iPad and to be honest it looks absolutely awesome I'm really loving how sort of well they've just replicated that my only sticking point is the controls but then that is just probably user related error in terms of just getting used to the fact of uh, The only issue I have with it right now is the controls, which is just a question of experience more than anything else. I don't see a way of them getting around the fact of needing virtual controls on a on a touchscreen device. So it's just a question of getting used to it. But everything is here that you would want from like a mobile version of World of Tanks, and that's really awesome that they've managed to do that. I fear for my spare time now. Okay, so let's okay, let's have a look and see. We can research T2 medium. So let's research that. There we go. Oh, and we have upgrades for the our current tank as well. Ah, right, okay, so that explains why I couldn't get that. So you have to research part of the tech tree of the, your current tank in order to unlock it, which is what you do on the PC version as well. So we need to research the 37mm semi-automatic gun, so let's do that. And now we can unlock, if we have enough experience, that one. So we need to go back to our tech tree. There we go. And now it's highlighted that we can, in fact, do it. Only problem is not enough XP. So let's convert some experience. Let's use some of our gold. Use free experience to research any. Da -da -da -da. doesn't look like I can actually I don't have any normal experience and it doesn't appear to let me okay let's do that let's exchange some gold no it doesn't look like we can uh, to do that that's a shame Okay, well, they'll, that will unlock in due course as as you play through the game. So while 
that is not available to me I shall just upgrade this tank okay that increases our uh, protection okay okay we get better suspension okay maneuverability let's do that okay excellent so let's enter a battle with our oh well resupply our ammunition then and we also have these other other ammunitions we have a high explosive round I think I would like to do that, that also costs a lot more ok right, let's enter the battle and see what happens Now, wargaming.net, the uh, the company behind this, uh, love their authenticity, uh, but also like to balance that with sort of arcade elements, so it's fun to play. Um, and if you go to dive into the features in World of Games, World of Games, dive into the features of World of Tanks on the PC, then you'll you'll find an awful lot of customization options and authentic pieces of tanks and stuff like that so they really love their history as well which makes the experience just much more interesting okay so we need to be careful here okay we've got a tank there already It's actually over the hill right now. Oh, there's another one over there. It's got a. I'm guessing that light bulb means that he's got got us in his sights. Still can't actually see it. Come on, just come up a bit further. Okay, I think there may be someone flanking me. don't pay attention to is the terrain sometimes and I am above okay looks like we're actually doing pretty well as a team more of us there are here, the better, the quicker the capture will go. Ok, we've got to keep an eye out for these guys. There's one, down there. Okay, looks like we have a really good team here, and uh, we are very close to capturing this. Okay, there's one over there. Come on, we've nearly captured it, we've nearly done it. Is he gone? Oh God, there they are. Okay, I need to get out of here because I'm... Oh, we did it! Fantastic, we won! Oh, well, that's cheeky. Let's 
so I didn't actually kill anyone, but I did capture the base. Okay, well there we go, that's World of Tanks Blitz for the iPad. Uh, so it's free to download and it has in-app purchases which we've gone over, so none of them look particularly egregious. Uh, it just depends how much effort you want to put into playing the game. Uh, but as you can see, once you get used to the controls, it's pretty fun and it's almost an exactly the same kind of experience as the PC version, which for, you know, moving over a big popular game like that from the PC to the iPad uh, is a tremendous effort and achievement. So I think you should check it out and, uh, and have fun. I know my kids are going to be loving this, so check it out. Right, so this has been Adam for Family Gamer TV, and uh, please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.